Hi friends, in the previous video we have seen some new features for the objects that has been added in the ES6. Now we will see some other uh, about the math object. Okay, so in math object also some of the new methods has been added in the ES6. So just I will tell you two of the most important uh, methods. So you, if you want to find more methods that, uh, that means you can go to the Mozilla developer network, uh, Mozilla developer MDN. So there you can find the documentation for math object and you can find all the methods for that one. So just I will go through to, so two important uh, math objects that are added in the ES6 that could be very useful for developing applications. For example, here I have let's number, let's number is equal to, uh, let's assume that minus 10. Okay. So now, in math object in ES6, so a new thing, new method has been added that is math dot sign. Okay, math dot sign of number. So if I try to send this num math dot sign, let's see what could be the output here. If I try to see the output, I am getting it as minus one. So that means it is telling that whether this one is a negative number or not. If it is a negative number, it will return all the time minus one. So let's say positive number. If it is a positive number, then what it will return? It will return 1. Okay. Let's check. We will check with the 0. So if I add 0, so what could be the thing I will be getting? So if I add 0, I am getting 0. So that means for negative numbers, it will return as minus 1. For positive numbers, it will return as plus 1. For 0, it's neither uh, negative nor positive, right? So it will return 0. So this could be very useful for finding the negative or positive number for that one. For example, if I pass NAN. What could be the output then? We will check. So we are getting simply as nan only. For example, if I pass it string, something like that, we will see what could be the output here. If I try to check the so it is also a nan. So that means we need to pass a number, either positive or negative number. Otherwise, anything if you pass, you will get it as nan only. Okay, fine. And another one, what we can say is another important thing that has uh, in the math where I could found it very useful is. Uh, 3.78 you let's think of this one okay you will have some you will have one method called as trunk if i try to check this output you are getting this three okay so that means it is truncating off the decimal part everything what is present in the decimal part and it is giving you the three okay you can say that you, know, you can find uh, math.floor is there right so it, using that math.floor i can do anything for example, uh, math.floor it is already available. You can think so it is also returning the same thing, and math.trunk is also returning the same thing. Then what could be the issue then? So here, if for example, if it is a negative number, okay, if it is a negative number, then what is what could be the math.floor here? Minus four. Why minus three point seven nine minus four is less than this minus three point four nine. So that is the reason it is giving minus four. But if you do trunk here. So what could be the output here? I am getting minus 3 only. Okay. So now I think you understood between the these things. So if you want to use math.floor or math.seal instead of using these all things, if you want only the trunk the decimal parts, I need to get only that uh, main part is. So then you can use that math.trunk. Okay. So uh, like this, uh, what you can say, these type of uh, new object, new methods are there, more, are there has been added in the ES6. Lot, lot of things has been added in the ES6. If you want to see more uh, methods in this, you can go to the Mozilla developer network. So you can search in JavaScript MDN like this math object and you can find lot of methods in that one. Okay, if you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comment below this video so that I will give you the reply. And also if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.